and how much does this one mean to yourself and the group? Well, we we totally didn't rock up in the first uh, test match, and New Zealand were just too good as well. Um, so we were under pressure to come into this uh, second test match and, and win, and um, it, yeah, it means it means a lot uh, that we didn't uh, come to New Zealand and lose the test series. Um, uh, we would have liked to win the series, but uh, we can give ourselves credit for for for, for bouncing back. So it does it does mean a lot. Every test every test match uh, a series uh, or test match win means a lot. Thank you, Super Gazi. Hello, um, Gachi, so well played. Um, you know, after that first test, as, as one of the senior players and leaders in the team, what were the kind of messages that you were trying to pass on to, to some of your teammates, you know, to, to try to put that first test aside and to look ahead to what you guys needed to do in the second? Well, there's no use, you know, in, in harping on and on about how badly we played. Um, as much as we do need to recognize all the faults that we made, uh, we still need to, to put game plans in, in, in place uh, to, to make sure that we adapt um, as quickly as possible under pressure. I mean, um, it's just, it was just all about um, understanding where we went wrong and then um, coming up with, with game plans and tactics um, and also mentally uh, to, to, to come back and, and win, win the second test match. So. It was just about, uh, I guess, waking up and rocking up and executing game plans. Ken, followed by Sanhelen. Thanks, Supercozzi. Uh, well done, KG. Very well bowled and battered. Um, coming back from 1-0 down against world number one India and then coming back after a defeat in the first this year, which could have been quite demoralising, uh, suggest there's something special about the character of this team that there's a lot of resilience um, that there must be something really good going on in the change room can you, can you give us some insight into um, how you guys are actually managing um, to show so much character I think it's what we have naturally as, as, a South, Af as South Africans I mean if you have a look at um, the previous cricket teams uh, that have played um, the word that always, you know, fit us best was resilience. You know, it was never easy to to just beat us in a test series, and then again we, we we proved it again in this in this test series. It was extremely hard. Um, um, you know, you have you have young guys stepping up, um, like Luto. He stepped up. Kyle stepped up, um, and you know, Saro, who was, was it was his first uh, test uh, series and. He stood up, so there are lots of good signs uh, for the future, um, especially for, for for the new guys who are coming in. But resilience has always been a character trait that we have, you know, best best shown to the world. Thank you so much, Pogazi. Uh, KG, again, well played today and well played throughout the entire test match, especially with the bat and the ball. Um, I just wanted to check with you, um, how nervy was it when the rain started coming down there on the field? We couldn't see it from the TV but until there were some close-up shots. So what was the mood like as soon as you guys started seeing the rain coming down? Well, first of all, we understood that we only needed one wicket, so it was a bit irritating that the rain had to come at that stage. Um, we, we all we like I mean I had an idea that the rain would you know just blow over the clouds would just blow over um, but in the back of your head you've got that cynical thought that says oh what if it stays but we knew we were going to get back on the field I think we were just a little bit um, frustrated um, at it at the rain coming when uh, we needed one wicket to win and luckily as soon as we got back onto the onto the pitch we we we, we got the wicket so. Yeah, it was just a bit of frustration, I think, um, that was going through the camp. Nathan? Um, KG, judging from the press conferences over the last two seasons, especially since COVID, your teammates uh, speak heavily about mindset and mental health challenges, uh, um, especially during quarantine. In terms of improving consistent player performance, would you perhaps advise uh, to consider including a sports psychologist in the mix moving forward, moving forward to also 
take into consideration that multiplayer players, uh, as you mentioned, as well, we are relatively new to the international scene in the squad. Um, that's a decision that we'll have to make as a team. But I think mental health is is uh, really important to manage. Um, you know, as much as we are cricketers, we also have daily lives and we also have problems in our in our own lives that you know come whenever they want to come. And at the same time, we have to go out and play. And at the same time, we we're in these bubbles. Um, so it doesn't make it any easier. Uh, I guess um, if as a collective we decide that we want to you know to have a sports psychologist or a, men, uh, a psychologist, then I guess that's what we'll have. But at the moment, I'm not sure if that option has been um, made available. Uh, but we'll just see how it goes, and uh, I guess it's it's worth talking about because if you're not mentally okay, then it's it's a problem. Sorry, guys, we're gonna have to um, wrap up soon. Do you understand that we'll close with kiddos? How's it, Gaiji? Uh, well done. Congrats on your own performances as well. Uh, you are now the leading wicket taker in Test cricket in the last 12 months. Um, but before that, you, there was a, a few years where you went through a, a slight dip in, in with, with stats and performances and stuff like that. Um, do you feel back to your best and, and how did you sort of turn it around? I think it's very seldom that you feel at your best. Um, I think every time you go out and play, you just want to implement your basics as well as possible and try and adapt to conditions as well as, po as well as possible. There's always a different challenge that is facing that you're facing, and um, it's all about adapting to it, but also trusting your strengths and trying to, to do all you can to, to get to your best. But it's very seldom that that happens, and you just have to try and create your own luck through some hard work and some tactical thinking and uh, getting yourself in a good mental space. And you, got, you almost got to let the rest just happen. So. That's what that I've been trying to do. It's just trying to like stick to the process and just keep refining the process. And whatever happens will be the fruit of what I put uh, sowed. Hi, Keiji, congrats. Um, Keiji, we've seen it's quite difficult for teams to win tests away from home. And I suppose this one was conditions that were really uh, unusual to you guys because you haven't been at the at the ground before can you tell us a little bit about that surprise decision to to bat first and include a spinner and just like how did you manage to as a team get so kind of tactically astute in in a place you've not been in before <clears throat> yeah normally in test cricket what you would want to do is, is bat first um new zealand elected to bowl first in the first test match and i think they made the right call <laughs> it was um it was moving around a lot uh, this this uh, this wicket in this test match was a lot drier, uh, just from look, looking at it with the naked eye, and it had a lot less grass on it. And um, just when you sort of walked on it, um, the spikes almost uh, sunk in to it a bit. So that tells you that it's going to be a little bit slow. Um, and um, hopefully, if when when the test match would um, uh, move move forward. Um, the conditions would get drier, and the the footmarks footmarks would would be created uh, for Kesh to to you know exploit, and that was the thinking, and in the end it was the right decision. Thanks very much, everyone. Um, I'll send the action.